Texas Stadium for a politically incorrect confrontation. Third quarter, Cowboys with just two field goals. The offense continuing to struggle. Fourth and one, Aikman's pass to David LaFleur, short of the first down. I hope you can't read lips. Fourth quarter, 7-6 Redskins. Gus Farratt looking for Henry Eller down the sidelines. He finds him the great leaping catch. Barry Switzer cannot believe that no flag was thrown on the play. Skins up 14 to 6. But the Cowboys would battle back. Just over three minutes left, fourth and two. Aikman finds Michael Irvin, the 30-yard gain, all the way down to the Redskin 20-yard line. Later that drive, Aikman looking for Irvin again, and he finds him for the touchdown, pulling, putting Dallas within two, 14 to 12. So, of course, they go for two. Aikman to Emmett Smith. The two-point conversion is good. That knocks the game at 14. Very helping out the refs. Four seconds left. Aikman and friends looking on. Richie Cunningham, a chance to win the game for the Cowboys. The 42-yarder just scrapes inside the field goal uprights as Dallas survives this one by a final of 17-14. to 14. The win keeps Dallas alive in the NFC East and gives them a season split with the Redskins. Dallas and Washington now have identical 6-5 and five records, and the Cowboys 5-0 and oh at home and very much alive thanks to that 97-yard saving drive. Oh, it was ugly. It was ugly there for, uh, for a little bit, but, uh, you know, I've always said uh, that, the, you know, a sign of a good football team finds a way to win, and uh, whether or not we're a good football team, I don't know, but, uh, you know, we found a way to win the game, and, and that was nice. I think that uh, the last uh, five minutes of the ball game is the best that the uh, Cowboys have played in a long, long time. 97-yard drive, be able to keep our three timeouts through the entire half. Defense did their job and uh, able to get in position to make uh, the winning kick. It's my job. You know, they brought me in here to stop a guy like Michael Irvin. And like I said, Irvin's a heck of a receiver. And my hat's off to him today. He won. He won the battle. Simple as that.